a component of the 11th European Development Fund Sanitary and Phytosanitary Measures Project, involves technical assistance to build food safety capacity of private sector entities along targeted value chains. This video was funded by the European Union. Its contents are the sole responsibility of the 11th EDF SPS Measures Project and do not necessarily reflect the views of the European Union. The Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, ICA, is the executing agency for the SPS Measures Project, which is funded by the European Union. The Caribbean Regional Fisheries Mechanism, CRFM, is an affiliated agency, and key project partners are CARICOM and CARIFORUM. This project seeks to increase compliance in the Caribbean with International Sanitary and Phytosanitary, or SPS, measures, standards, and procedures to improve global and regional market access. SPS measures are important because they help protect producers and consumers against health and safety risks from contaminants, toxins, and disease-causing organisms in their food. It also safeguards countries from the entry and spread of pests and diseases. It is critical for Caribbean countries to comply with food safety requirements of trading partners when entering regional and international markets. One of the most effective ways to ensure safety along the import-export chain is through food safety education and training programs. This activity seeks to improve the safety of products produced by small and medium-sized businesses along three value chains, roots and tubers, herbs and spices, and coconuts. 12 Cariform companies were selected to receive technical assistance and training on food safety practices. This will contribute towards improving the quality of their products and position these companies to meet trading requirements for regional and international exports. Let's meet the companies now. Hi, I'm Kirk Dalavo. President and CEO of Be in the Bahamas, located here in Nassau, Bahamas, where we make jams, jellies, and sauces, also seasonings for our locals and for tourists alike. All of our products are all natural, no preservatives, no additives. Hi, good day. My name is Grayson John, also known as Big G. I'm the proprietor of Big G's, where we do flavored pepper sauces, salad dressings, and all purpose sauces based in the nature island of the Caribbean, Dominica and we sell to all supermarkets, hotel, restaurants, and do small and personal exports. Making eating healthy tastes great. At Bonner, we do the work for you. Hi, I'm Kerwin Craigwell, director of Bonner Business Incorporated, a company located in Trinidad Tobago within the Caribbean. We carry products as cassava and sweet potato fries, cassava cubes, dashing cubes, and sweet potato cubes, melting pot, and a coconut milk cubes. Hello, my name is Hesma Tyson. I am the Managing Director of Caribbean Specialty Foods Company Limited. Our company is based in Trinidad and Tobago, and we manufacture a variety of hot sauces, dips and seasonings that are all naturally made. Right now, our main market is Trinidad and Tobago, but we have also done exports to Grenada, as well as the United States. My name is Pascal chong -Hung and I'm the CEO of Green Child in Suriname. We produce all natural products straight from the Amazon, including herbal teas, pepper powder, maripa oil, and stingless bee honey and propolis. We sell locally and we're also exploring exports to Holland, Germany, um, the Caribbean and the US. Julian Cauldron, co-owner and manager of GKLM Products, a company established in St. Lucia, where we do frozen, grated and shredded coconuts, which we sell to our local market and the regional market. Hi, my name is Amita Switlow. I'm the president of Nalido Belize. Uh, we operate in Belize in Toledo district. Um, our products are wonderful turmeric products, turmeric paste, award-winning, turmeric powder and a whole beauty line as well as juices. We export to the US, to the UK, to Canada, 
to Jamaica, um, before to the Bahamas, as well as to the EU, to Switzerland. My name is Sabrina Walker, spokesperson for Olds Incorporated, an agro-processing company located in Barbados. We manufacture gluten-free alternative flowers and virgin coconut oil. At present, we provide our products within the local market, but we hope to, in the very near future, export our products within the Caribbean region. I'm Norman Wright, Managing Director for Perishables Jamaica Limited, a company that operates in Jamaica. We produce herbal teas under the Tox and Sipa Copa Altel Jamaican brands and the Tox brand using indigenous Jamaican herbs. We export our products to the US, UK, Canada, and the Caribbean. Hello, my name is Sophia Searles and I am the owner and manager of Searles Agro Products. As our name suggests, we're an agro-processing company and we're located in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The products we currently manufacture are peanuts, coconut oils, and shredded coconuts. In addition to supplying our local market, we also currently export to Antigua, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Grenada, with aspirations of extending to the international market. I am Katrina Machette, Personal Relations Officer at Sister Blows Jams and Jellies in Antigua and Barbuda. We produce jams, jellies, chutneys, marmalade, sauces, and sun-dry fruits. Our products are sold locally to hotels, the leading supermarkets and mini marts, gift shops, and the Ministry of Tourism. My name is Isabel Laguerre, CEO of Stars Industries. Um, we are located in port au prince Haiti. We produce sauces and condiments and frozen food bulbs. We serve the local markets and we are preparing to enter the international markets. With this technical support, we will be able to take our products throughout the world so that everyone can get a piece of the Bahamas. Our main goal with this project is to be fully prepared for international regulations and certification of our of all our products and processes. There exists a need in the region to improve food safety quality. The technical assistance gained from this program will help us develop and implement a successful program in providing and ensuring consistent food quality and availability in our company. At the end of this project, we expect that uh, we will have an improved food safety system that will enhance our ability to export our products consistently. The benefits of this program to me is that we want to practice a uh, culture of food safety in the factory. And this augurs well for both the local market as well as the internal national market, which have begun to request that companies have a dedicated, documented food safety plan. This activity will support these 12 Cariform companies in the areas of food safety standards, hazard analysis, critical control points, and traceability. These businesses will benefit by increased compliance with international food safety requirements, improved market access, and increased export capacity.